everyone, my name is Lexis. This is my big sister, Portia. Hey! So today, we're gonna have 10 questions, and whoever gets the most wrong has to eat a handful of this Ben Boozled Jelly Beans. And the best part is, I had no idea that she's never tried them before. Well, no, I've tried them. I just haven't tried the nasty ones. I'm strategic. All right, so here's the rules. All 10 questions must be answered from the perspective of the other sibling. You only get the point if your answer matches the answer that they have for themselves. We're gonna be asked the same questions because we haven't lived together in five years. So that's the fair way. All is fair. Yep, in love and war. And this is war, but with love. <laughs> so the first question is most irritating habit. I think that Portia would put that she overthinks things. I mean, I do think that I overthink things, but the answer that I put is not responding. And what I mean is like when people text me, sometimes it will take like an hour or like a day or maybe a week or something before I get a chance to respond and a lot of people kind of get on me for that. So for you, I put, because I wasn't sure, mm -hmm. but I put like touching because I know that Like, it's not bad, but sometimes, like, when you're like, <laughs> You know? I don't mind. <laughs> My heart is so sad. <laughs> I love you. I think that I overthink things. <laughs> well, see, so don't overthink this. You break that habit, girl. Don't break it. Okay, so for number two, <laughs> the question was, book smart or street smart? And I put that you are book smart. Dang it, I put book smart. <laughs> All right. You get the first point. I put for you that you're street smart. I put the same thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Third question, favorite junk food. So for you, I put ice cream. I mean, I like ice cream. Oh no. Ice cream's pretty good. Oh no. But I put dark chocolate. And I don't know if that's junk food, but I could eat that all day. Like every day. I think you're the only person I know who actually likes dark chocolate. It's so good. I put two answers. If I know that, I can only put one. Okay. Okay. So I put hot Cheetos. Okay. And I was torn between that or fast food. I'm the overweight sibling. Well, the first one I put technically was hot Cheetos, so I'll lock it in hot Cheetos. It's hot Cheetos. <laughs> I think that one of your greatest strengths is that you can always have a smile on your face. You're always at <laughs> You find your happiness from within instead of from, you know, external. Aww. Well, although I like to smile a lot and I typically am happy, I know that my real strength comes from Jesus. That was my answer. <laughs> that was a good answer. That was a good answer. I put for you that your greatest strength is compassion and love for people. Thank you. That's not what I put though. <laughs> I put that I'm observant. Okay, if you had a million dollars, what's the first thing you would put your money towards? Mm hmm And for you, I put that you would put it towards charity or church. I put tithing. I put for you that you would tithe. That's what I put for myself, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first 10% goes to God. Next question. Next question I have right here is going to be the biggest pet peeve. For you, I think one of your biggest pet peeves is gonna be when people try to parent your children. That is kind of a pet peeve. Like if you're around me and you're hanging out with my kids and you start to tell my kids what to do, I do kind of get low-key irritated, I'm not gonna lie. That's not what I put though. <laughs> what I actually put was gossip. Like when I'm hanging out with a circle of friends and they're just talking about other people and gossiping, it just kind of strikes a nerve with me and mm -hmm. I don't like gossipy type people. What I put for you is I put cursing or like potty mouth, like bad language. I put lying. You liars. Why are you always lying? <laughs> Biggest phobia. I think I got this wrong. For you, I put vermin, which is like roaches and rats <laughs> and mice. Well, at you least sleep. you didn't put like germs. So. Oh. It's not germs, Portia. Don't you go to this like revelation. No, but why didn't I think of that? Because you are a super germ conscious person. But not a phobic. I put for myself not finding the one. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I put your biggest fear is God. You know what? That's true. But I don't fear him like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Psst. 
because me and him got that relationship. Mm -hmm. But what I put was actually like being useless and I was thinking in lines of like God. Like there's a lot of things that I want to accomplish and a big fear of mine is if I somehow like mess up or if I am no longer useful to God. That's a fear of mine. But don't think that counts. Didn't get the point. Sorry. But that was a good answer. Ooh, age of your first kiss. Okay, well for you, I put 13. Dang. I put 12. Aw, I was 12. Yes! <laughs> so, nine. Favorite physical feature? I was caught between your eyes and your smile after your eyes. Oh, it's not your eyes. Dang it. What? Actually, I did. I put that. You put your eyes? Yeah. <gasps> Are you messing with me? No. <laughs> For you, I put smile. <laughs> yes, I like my smile. Okay, I'm nervous for this last one. This last one will either be, we have a tie, or you win. If you could be any animal, what would you be? And it's not like, oh, what's your favorite animal? Uh -huh. But if you could be an animal. I put that you would be a bird, because you could soar. A bird because I can soar. Yeah. If you had to pick a bird. If I had to pick a bird? Oh, if you had so did you bird. put a type of bird is your answer? If you had to pick a bird. <sighs> this is tough. Wait, but did you put a kind of bird? Like, am I really narrowing it down because you put a bird as your answer? Yes. So maybe I could at least just get half a point. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a chicken. <laughs> if Lexus could be any bird, oops, what kind of bird do you think she would be? I don't know why, I really get a feeling that you would be a bird that could swim. I was gonna say seagull, but she said penguin. Lock it in, and I think I get half a point either way. Put a penguin. Did you really? I put a penguin. Let me see it. Good job, Hannah! <laughs> That's my girl! Good job, Hannah! <laughs> yeah! You said penguin because I can soar. That's not why I picked a penguin. I picked a penguin because when penguins mate, they're partners for life. It's forever. Look at this hopeless romantic. <laughs> at first I put a horse so that you can be free. <laughs> and then I put a cow because you love cows. I and love then cows. I thought you wouldn't want to be a cow. So I put a dolphin. I put dolphin too. No, you didn't. For me. <gasps> Help me. Oh, I still lost. <laughs> no. All right, little sister. Because I love you so much, I'm gonna measure out your handful for you. You just tell me when, girl. All right, when. <laughs> and this is what Lexus has the opportunity to experience right now. She gets to try spoiled milk, coconut, dead fish, strawberry banana smoothie, rotten egg, mmm, butter popcorn, toothpaste, berry blue, barf, peach, canned dog food, <laughs> chocolate pudding, booger, <laughs> juicy pear, moldy cheese, caramel corn, stinky socks, tutti frutti, lawn clippings, and lime. I'm a little dust. Is that hair? <laughs> I will take my punishment as a man because I earned it. She won. I'm so fair and square. It was so close. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got this. You got this. All right. And three. And two. And two. All right, tell me when to go. Count it down. One. Go. <laughs> Can I smell your mouth? <laughs> smell the sense.
so bad. Oh, I can still smell her breath in the air. Well, I guess I can go ahead and help Lexus with this part and just say thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, watching, whatever you do with these YouTube videos. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. From our family Bye. to yours, have a good day. Bye! Guys, look at my nieces. Oh yeah, these are my little my little munchkins here. Can you guys say hi? Hi. <laughs> say Lexus loves jelly beans. Lexus loves jelly beans. No. <laughs> you want some gum? A mint? Huh. I have Altoids in my purse. How you feeling from those jelly beans, Lex? <laughs> at least you have good loving care over there. Oh yeah?